time, I'm Candice from EduMagic. Marketing has changed. What we learned at college was not really very much about marketing. We learned about asking for referrals, we learned about going in the street handing out flyers, and we learned to hook up with our neighbours and try and cross promote each other. I think that honestly was the extent of marketing that I've learned through the 20 years that I've been doing hairdressing and been in the hair beauty industry. And that doesn't work anymore. Referrals still work, but if you want to get clients fast, it's not the way to go. The new thing to trust is social media, because the more that people see on social media, the more that they will believe and know, like, and trust in your brand. They don't realize that you're paying for adverts. They just think that it's divine intervention that they're seeing all this wonderful stuff about your business. Gone are the days of advertising on billboards. Advertising on a billboard is so expensive and people see it, they might see the same billboard every single day, but while you're driving, you can't just stop and quickly take a photograph of the number or the whatever the advert is. Um, it's a split second, and also that billboard cannot measure how many people have actually looked at it. So you don't know how much of a return on investment that you're actually getting when you invest in that billboard. So with Facebook, we can show you how many people have viewed your posts, we can show you how many people have actually signed up for your deals, and we can show you the return on investment, which is absolutely incredible. No other advertising before. I mean, even a TV advert or a radio advert, they're also so expensive, and so many huge companies still use them. But I don't know about you, if I get a TV ad, I forward that, and I'm not interested in watching TV ads. But on the internet, you can't really get away from it. You'll be watching a video, and in between that video, something will pop up. And the effect that it has on the subconscious is really so much more powerful than any radio, TV, or billboard could be. And like I've said before, you can actually measure that return on investment. So you're not just giving away your money every month. If somebody had come to me and said, spend $2,000 on marketing a month, I would have laughed in their face until I've learned what I've learned. But the power of social media is absolutely incredible. So what we do is we run through a series of warming content. We really encourage people to do videos, write blogs. And what really works amazingly is when you're actually busy in the salon and you're doing and performing a service and you show people what you're actually doing, that really gains someone's trust as well as just interviewing your clients and asking them what they love about coming to your business. Um, your beauty salon, or your microblading, or your, your pedicures, anything that you do, you ask these clients if they wouldn't mind just giving you a little testimonial. What I tend to do is I stand with them in front of the camera so that they're not camera shy, and we talk about how wonderful the business is. And that gets so much interaction on Facebook. And the more people see about your business, the more they tend to know, like, and trust you. So that when eventually you're actually putting a deal in front of them, or you're offering an amazing service, they'll have the confidence in your business to actually come and try you out. And we have grown so much. I haven't been able to do hair for two years. I got into digital marketing. I put $2,000 into my marketing every month, and I get four to five to $6,000 back in a return. And that's just talking monthly. We're not talking about the lifetime value of a client here. Give us a call, Did you Magic. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, and we'll help grow your business. We'll get those chairs full.